fixed we and everything, do okay? We free operations, breast cancer Okay, operations. so why do you want to charge people with health insurance money then, huh? This is what health care reform in the United States sometimes causes. And there's not any compromise anymore. There's not sitting down and talking about what would be best for America. Right now it's whether or not it's my way or the highway. According to T.R. Reid, whose book, The Healing of America, is on the New York Times bestseller list, health care is not just a political and economic issue, it's a moral responsibility. The United States is the strongest, most powerful, most innovative country in the world, but when it comes to keeping people healthy, we're a third-rate power. Reid's book, which takes into account other industrialized democracies, says that not providing universal care is what's driving up the cost for all Americans. People who don't have insurance still get sick. They still have babies. They still have auto accidents. They go to the hospital and they tax the rest of us to pay for their care. And that's something many who showed up to hear Reed's speech at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio say is at the heart of the problem in the United States. And we send people to an emergency room and yet the rest of us uh, pay for that emergency room care and there should be a way that we level that out. Rodolfo Molina, a rheumatologist, says the problem here isn't the health care, but rather the access to it. It's terrible for the patient. I give them free care. That's some bottom line. And they live off samples. You know, they come in when they can. But Reed is quick to point out that not all countries with universal health care have done a good job at it. There are systems that don't work all that well. Canada, for example, has long waiting times. Now the former reporter just hopes that his book will shed some light as to what America should and shouldn't do. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at 9.